Hi everybody and welcome to module 2 lesson 11. This is actually just a review of word problems and how to pick out the words but instead of using just plain numbers um, to identify objects we're using kilograms or grams or um, milliliters and liters um, and it's also a mixture of addition and subtraction. So I'm only going to do one example of them today because we've done quite a few redraw rights in my word problems. So it says Robert's crate of tools weighs 12 kilograms. He takes his power tools out. Now the crate weighs four kilograms. How many kilograms do the power tools weigh? There should be a question right there. So I'm gonna go back through and I'm gonna pull out some information. So Robert's crate of tools weighs 12 kilograms. So the total weight of the crate is 12 kilograms. So I'm gonna do a little picture here. This whole thing is 12. I'm gonna abbreviate KJ. That's the total weight of the crate. Now he takes power tools out. So something's coming out of this and the crate weighs four kilograms. So now he takes out stuff and it's left with four kilograms in there. So there's gonna be four kilograms out. We need to know what, how much he took out to make it weigh four kilograms. So if we're taking things out of something or we're removing something, we're trying to find the difference between the two numbers. So we're gonna be doing subtraction. So we have 12 kilograms, subtract four kilograms. And that will give us the number of kilograms power tools weigh. I'm not going to do the math here. I think you guys can do this math, math problem on your own. Um, so let me know in the comments below, what was the weight of the power tools um, in kilograms? So make sure you label it because anytime we're doing something with capacity or volume or mass, we need to label what we're measuring it in. All right, so um, that is our lesson for today. Super quick and easy. Um, for this one, um, there's some other examples if you need them, but this is a reminder of how to do word problems using kilograms, grams, milliliters, and liters, and so on and so forth. All right, have a great day.